Hello. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been here. My name is Janice Cologne, and um, thank you for coming and spending a little time here with me as I do some art, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, just entertain you. I don't know, or if it'll inspire you to do something for your uh, some art yourself, you know. But um, I have been thinking uh, as to, because uh, it's been a while since I've videotaped anything here and um, just trying to think of what I can do next. Um, I wanted to do another devotional, artsy devotional uh, series. Um, I have this... Uh, journal here sitting here that I really don't know haven't known what to do with it and um I think I've decided to go ahead and make this my my um artsy devotional journal here it is right here um it's uh let me see how big this is so um, it's like 10 by 10 by 12 or 11 by 12 maybe no 10 by 12 yeah and um, the cover I've already put the cover but I think I'm gonna embellish it some more because I I like it for, for it to be a little bit more embellished than this, but um, it's made out of material and uh, kind of threw a little bit of paint on it. It's kind of scribbled on it a little bit, but um, the binding, I did like my regular binding, except I used that sorry um, silk instead of thread. And... Um, I've kind of followed uh, another artist on YouTube and I'm going to put her video, I mean, I'm going to link her video where she is working on this and putting this together so that you can see how she did it. But that's kind of what I followed to put this together. And uh, on the inside, so the object of making this journal was to make it like a um, an ancient document type journal. Just make it look like you found it in an old ancient room, hidden under some boxes or in some boxes uh, Ain't with ancient writing on it and ancient uh, marks on it. Uh, so that's why it's decorated like this. You know, just something that's been just kind of tossed away for hundreds of years. And then here we are finding it. <laughs> so I kind of worked a little bit on this first page here. And I put a verse and I'll explain what that's going to be. But anyway, the papers are just made from old papers and I kind of put old other papers, you know, like to strengthen it because some of them are pretty thin. And that's all it is, it's just made from old papers. So I'll link her video there so you can see how, how I put this, but this is what I, I did and I kind of followed her. Uh, but her, her, um, let's see, here's the sari silk. And I just went in and out, just like your regular pamphlet stitch. So each page is already has stuff on it, has information on it already. So, um, we're going to take this and I'm going to, try to fill it in. So um, I've been thinking a lot about, because I'm reading old, through the Old Testament again, about um, the ancient highway uh, that God 
talks about in Jeremiah 18, 15. It says, My people have, deser have deserted me and turned to foolish idols. They have turned away from the ancient highways of good and walked the many paths of sin. Jeremiah 18, 5. So my theme for this journal is just taking one page at a time and doing a devotional and picking things out of the Bible, verses out of the Bible that kind of really touch me and um, that helps me to stay on that ancient pathway or ancient highway. Um, and that's what I want to do. Because everything, every verse that you take out of the Bible is an ancient um, it's it's an ancient person or actually it's God talking to you from ancient times that was written down by an old scribe from back then so you kind of think about it the New Testament if you take a verse out of the new out of the New Testament that verse is probably like around 2,000 years old already. <laughs> and that alone is ancient for us. Um, and then if you take a verse out of uh, the Old Testament, it depends on where you take it from. But, but if you're taking it out of the first five books of Moses, it's probably like... <laughs> That's probably like five, six thousand years old, that verse. And um, and then there's another verse that says that God, God's word is true. It's God God's word is forever. It's not something he says and then the next day he changes it. No. Uh, when he says something, it is solid it is unchangeable it is true and it's going to live on forever and ever and um when we when we try to follow what he says we will always be in the right path and that's that's what i like for us to think about and and if we follow what he says, it helps us to make decisions. Um, we are always bombarded with decisions to have to be made. Um, and some of the decisions could change our lives. It depends on the decision that you make. And it helps to know how God feels about certain things. And it, it influences the decision that you make and so that you stay on that ancient path. And um, so that's what I would like to do. And I hope that you will take this little journey with me. It's sort of like a journey <laughs> through the ancient path. And um, hopefully we'll continue to live and, and follow that ancient path. So um, here we go. Uh, this is the first, um, this sort of my little introduction, but I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna um, probably make it a lot of botanicals on it. And um, so I'm, I don't have too, I mean, I have some botanicals that I've already done, but I'd like to make some more. So that's what I'm gonna work on today and um let's let's see how i do that and some of these i might use on my cover sheet and some of them i'll use in the book in the journal so um tag along and we shall 
do a little bit of uh, gel printing. Oh, by the way, um, the first thing I did a couple days, well, more like about a week or two ago, I went in my yard and I just picked out different flowers that, or bushes, not bushes, but I, I picked out different leaves and um, that might look nice. And um, I stuck them in a book and I'll go ahead and add that that little video of me taking them out, but I stuck them in a book and I put a bunch of heavier books on top of it and um, so that I flattened them out. So it makes it easier to uh, use it in the gel plate, but some of them I really like and I don't want to, I'm gonna have to do some more so I can just keep it like that natural. <laughs> and, um, but anyway, don't worry, I got plenty of leaves out there. I can do some more, so. Anyway, well, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just getting some colors out here. I've got a couple, a couple pulls already. And this one's on tissue paper, wet straight tissue paper, and this one is on like a heavier watercolor paper. And it's just um, a solid color, color. But let me do another one. Let me put it... Do a lighter color here. Okay, you can barely see that one, but it's very light gray. Okay. All right. All right, let me try the next. Let me try the next one. Um, any left in this color because the kids really like it like a metallic green
Okay, so this one I'm, I'm gonna just lift it up high enough to get my leaves out. See if I get the shadow print as well as the regular print. to um, elaborate a little bit more about that verse that we read earlier. Uh, God uh, gave that verse to Jer Jeremiah, and it was during the time when the children of Israel were not following God at all. They had rebelled against God. They, they weren't reading his word. They were... Um, following all the false false gods that were in the area and um worshiping those false gods <laughs> i don't know how they can, how they can worship those other gods they were so mean and i don't know it's it's just crazy but finally god while well, god had sent many prophets to warn the people you know that hey you know I want you to come back to me and worship me because I'm the only true God I'm the one true God and um but they didn't um so he kept warning them and told them that they're gonna that he's gonna be sending another foreign army <laughs> and it turned out to be the Babylonians came just a little bit after this the Babylonians came and they wiped out you know the people they took many of them captive they destroyed the city they destroyed Jerusalem they destroyed the temple they captured all the um, the holy furniture and relics that were in the temple because they were made out of pure gold. And they took uh, all the um, a lot of captives back to Babylon. And Babylon back then is really, is Iran, what we call Iran now. That's Babylon. And um, so, the, I mean, the, and this is in like 500 years BC, probably, you know, more. I know, I know there's a specific date. I think it's 538 BC. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But um, they have been enemies with Israel for a long, I mean, ye years from antiquity. And um, this hatred is still there, even today. It's just amazing. But anyway, um, they took them captive, 
and took them back to Babylon, but they killed a lot of people too. Um, and they destroyed the city and everything and destroyed that whole area. So, you know, God tried to warn them, but yet through the prophet Jeremiah, he, he told them, you're going to be captive, but it was only going to be for 70 years. So he gave them a ray of hope, um, even though it was such a devastating time for them. So um, it just, you know, reminds us that we need to try to stay on that ancient path that he has given us. He's given us so many um, things to follow, so many promises that he's keep, he's kept and and so many warnings um to help us in our daily walk with the lord so um, i think this is ready to be pulled let's see what happens <laughs> Do it that way and you keep your paper it kind of gives you more details in the um in the leaves hmm. try this gray one. I think I'm gonna um maybe since it's gray I'm gonna try a different color. Maybe uh here this is like a black metallic. Let's see what happens here. Love that. Kind of looks like uh, <laughs> wallpaper or something. It's pretty nice. Very 
botanical looking. Actually, I've got two more. So let me see what else I'm going to do. I want to put like a darker green, maybe. Let me try like a teal. So I've already got green on this. I still have some ghost prints, too. Gold. Oops. It looks like a hot mess, doesn't it? The only thing bad about these dried ones are they, they become very brittle. Probably might be better to just do it from a fresh leaf. I don't know. We'll see. so pretty it looks like um, kind of like swamp swampy mm -hmm. if you're able to see that it's got the gold in it it's kind of really pretty This, um, let me try this one here. This one's a little different. Oops. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to wet this paper down. I, I saw somewhere where you're supposed to, because it is kind of thick too thick, you know, and it won't, it won't take the paint so good, but if you wet, wet it down, it helps, uh, let me try that, all right, what, is, what color should I use, I've got cream color there, Use like a metallic. I just probably don't have anything in here. Metallic. Put a little bit of water in it. So dry it out.
dry it out. Don't make it too toned. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just getting over a really bad, bad cold. I was sick for seven days. <laughs> um, okay, so that's cream color. Let me try something different here. Let me should I put this gold. Uh, maybe if I have a darker gold. A metallic brown. Let's see what that would do. this down here and let me put like a blue like a just a very neutral type of blue in the middle I plan on using these botanicals throughout the um, throughout the journal. I really like the botanicals. They look so pretty, and um, I like just the organic nature and. Uh, When you do it that way, you get more of the details of the leaves. Everything so. like a piece of fabric, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this is my base, my base print. I think I'm gonna, I'm sure, I always end up embellishing all these prints. So, anyway, so that's that. I think that's where I'm gonna end it right here. Take my gel free. So I've got this one. I've got, I've got this one. It came out pretty nice. I like that. It kind of looks like you're in a like you're in a swampy area. Okay. And this one. Pretty, pretty, pretty you know, next to another one. And then I have 
this one. It came out really pretty. And I think that's it. So I'm glad you uh, joined me for this little journey or hope to embark on this little journey with me. And um, we'll do some more jelly printing and Meanwhile, um, I'll be reading, I've, I've already have a lot of <laughs> references that I want to, that I want to touch on in my, in the devotionals. So trying to figure out how I'm going to put it in the journal is another, <laughs> another thing, but, um, because I've already, earlier this, was it? I think it was towards the end of last year, I started reading from Genesis again. So, um, there's a lot of, a lot of stories in there and a lot of things that came out at me. So maybe we'll start there, but, or we might start with Easter since Easter is a couple weeks away. So we shall see. Meantime, God bless and, uh, Stay safe and have a great, great day.